Our next guest is watching the bond market and says it seems overdone right now and appears risky. Joining us with more is Mark Pfeffer of CLS Investments, Chief Investment Strategist. Thank you for being here. When you say overdone, what do you mean? Well, I think right now yields have just come down too far too fast, and it really hasn't been on the fundamental data in the U.S. It's been more on what's been going outside outside of the U.S. So, for example, we took the 10-year down to about one in the low 140s last week, and we hit an all-time low on the 30-year bond in the low 190s. And it had nothing to do with the economic data that's going on in the U.S. So a lot of it, to me, was just more technical in nature. When you look at the data that's been coming out outside of manufacturing, which has been poor, the data suggests that the economy is running at a 2 to 2.5% GDP number, and inflation, if anything, is starting to run higher. So if we've got now a 10-year yield of 1.73%, is that to you more rational or should it be higher still? It probably should still be higher still. If you're looking at inflation running, even on the low end, between one5 and 2%, and it's probably even trending towards that 2% level now, um, and you have growth between 2 to 2.5%, I don't see why we should have a 10-year sub-2%. Okay, so Mark, given everything you've said, if, if I'm an investor and I'm looking both for a little bit of protection but for some gain, you like you have PIMCO's ETF, the bond fund, the BOND. And I'm curious, with these interest rates that are going to be going up, would I be making a mistake going in now if they're going to continue to go up? That's a great question. The duration of the PIMCO bond fund specifically is only around five years. So it's really hitting the belly of the curve. Um, and the Federal Reserve right now, if anything, is probably still going to be lowering rates this month and possibly even one more time after that. I'm not saying that's warranted, but you are getting some interest rate protection because the short end will be going down. Where I think rates are more vulnerable is on the real long end of the curve, say 10 years on out. And that PIMCO active income fund has a duration of five years. So I think you're more protected um, if an interest rates moving really in either direction. So I like it. I think it's a sweet spot for now. Mark, you talked earlier about the levels of the 10-year yield. In late July, we were at 2% in the 10-year. Stocks right now are back to where they were in late July, yet we have a 10-year at 1.7. Uh, the fact that the 10-year hasn't fully rebounded, what does that mean for the broader stock market going forward? I think the stock market right now is in good shape. I mean, we have seen a rotation right now, specific in the last week, as, uh, as other panelists have discussed out of momentum and into value as interest rates have gone back up. But I think right now it's because world interest rates have gone down so much. When you look at 17 trillion worth of debt around the world having negative interest rates, and specifically, I think a lot of it, what we're doing is following Europe. And given how much those rates have fallen and how negative we are, our rates look, relatively speaking, attractive, which is why I think our interest rates have fallen so much and so fast. Mark, hi, it's Lizanne Saunders at Schwab. Uh, let, let me keep the conversation global specific to the uh, many trillions of dollars of negative yielding debt, which has come down from what had been the peak. Do you think the, the sort of trajectory there and the near-term move is consistent with what we're seeing in the uptick in, in long-term yields, um, which in the case of the U.S. is more on the term premium side? But do you think there's more legs and we'll continue to see maybe a lessening of the, the value of negative yielding debt globally? Uh, I think in time. But right now, the economic data that continues to come out specifically of Europe still is very poor. And until we start to see a rebound there, my guess is we're going to stay negative for a while, which will probably, at least in the short term, keep a lid on our yields from moving up significantly higher. I just think fundamentally, though, we should be higher. But technically, right now, I think we're probably going to stay at lower levels for a while. Mark Pfeffer of CLS Investments, we want you to come back because we want to talk more about how that foreign money coming in is all, you know, contributing to the fact that the yields were coming down. All the best to you. Thank you.